the first of many to come. Yo! Breaking news, Sam Burns wins his first PGA title. What does PGA stand for? Professional Golf Association. So this guy, Sam Burns, he wins his first thing, but he's got some great advice about it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Go back to your bagel. What's up? I'm Percy. This is Mercy. Mercy is... Working out. As she goes down to start when she works out in the morning and then she's wearing workout gear. Right, yep. <laughs> Definitely the workout gear. Welcome to the brand new hit, critically acclaimed, internationally lauded morning show called The... <laughs> hey, what's the day today? Calendar person? Do you know what May 4th is? Of course! <clears throat> oh man, that sounded more like a uh, fozzy bear. Big grief, the comedian's a bear! <laughs> no, he's a nut! He's a wearer in a necktie! 69 and a level oh. 44. Alright. <clears throat> Talking today about what are we? Oh, I do not have the energy to do Yoda this morning. So what are we talking about today? Sam Burns. Remember you wanted to talk about this golf golf oh, thing? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so this weekend was the Valspar Championship. Valspar, I believe, is a paint company. Young person, though. I mean, I think he's 20-something. How am I doing on the preparation? 26. Is he 26? Anyway. Here, entertain everybody while I figure this out. 26 is my guess. Okay, well, go with 26. So he's like 26, and he has come in close a couple times. Um, Where does he come in? I think he's come in third a couple times. I believe earlier this year he came in second. He might have even been leading, and then he failed to win. He kind of, some might say, I don't want to be, you know, I didn't watch this, but I might use the word choked, maybe. Um... He, what he, does he, that mean? Exactly? Choke means like in, in the end of the thing, you don't keep playing your yourself. You like do something bad. And it sounds like he kind of let up and he, he wasn't playing himself. He wasn't, he didn't play the best and he didn't finish out very well. So he ended up losing. You know, he still came in second or third, not bad, but he didn't kind of stay strong and, and finish it out. But he has really great advice at the end of this thing. The lesson isn't what he expected it to be. I always felt that you had to play Perfect golf to win. Into his face. 148 yards for the second shot. Nope. I always felt that you had to play your absolute best on a Sunday to win. And after those experiences, I realized that it's not the case. I was trying to do too much. Instead, he kind of did just enough to beat the next person. Right? I, he didn't try to overcomplicate things and, and like overdo it. I mean, I think that's really good advice that like you don't have to be perfect. Like life is a game of a lot of misses and non-perfect play in everything you do. Not just golf, but like your career and relationships, like you're not going to be perfect at them. It's a game of being not perfect and how you react to that, not freaking out when you don't do something perfect. Like golf is a good one for this, right? A lot of people, even the best players, hit it, hit, hit a bad shot. They don't always hit the fairway. They don't always make it as close to the, you know, to the hole as they want to, but then they still have to kind of not give up. And it's really easy for golfers to do. I remember like, you know, as soon as you hit one bad shot, it's really easy to freak out and keep hitting more bad shots. And it's kind of, I think, a metaphor for life. Like, it's really easy to like. Like, like once you um, cartwheels. <laughs> oh, cartwheels. And do it a couple of bad times, then you kind of give up and keep trying, but then you're not even as good as yeah. the times you messed up. And I'm just not saying you. I, I screw this up, too. This is a le lesson for all of us. You know what it's time for? The joke of the night. Also, the super button is right there. Really, really, really a see for spot cheese. Really, really, really a wait. Did it was a did I do three parts? Dog, toucan, seahorse. <laughs> ah, really a goat. Spot cheese. Really, 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 really a porcupine. 
So Merce, it may the force fourth be with you, right? Right, right. Yeah, so there's new news in the Star Wars universe. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you've noticed, they don't have a lot of female villains in Star Wars. Yeah, sure. They're going to introduce Darth Vader's sister. Oh. And she's got the force. Darth Vader's sister. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, sorry. And so she's gonna use the force to raise and lower things, right? Okay. Like, cool. yeah. Her name will be Elevator. <laughs> I like it. Uh, <laughs> wait, you put it? Who jokes? What's the other one? What's the other one? There is a second joke. Do you want the second joke? Yeah! Do you know what a tauntaun is? A ta Remember the tauntauns are the, like the little horses they were using on the planet Hoth, the oh, ice yeah. planet? Yeah. Yeah. And so that, remember when, remember they had to actually cut a, a tauntaun? So do you know what the temperature is inside of a tauntaun? Lukewarm. <laughs> Not as good as the elevator. Not as good as elevator. That's it. Thanks for watching these weird videos. And subscribe if you're new here. Follow the podcast and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.